All right, keeping the series going, but now you know we got to hit Marvel. We're starting off top five Marvel hot toys announced in 2015. Let's get into it. This is Six Scale Economist. I can fly. All right, again, this is Six Scale Economist. And for those of you that are new to the channel, you know, the channel's growing fast. We're almost at 500 subs now. It's a push to 1,000 subs. So if you enjoy this content, love Star Wars, Hot Toys, Marvel, Hot Toys, all things Hot Toys in one six scale, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. But jumping into the number five spot, I've got Ant-Man from Civil War. Um, so for Ant-Man figures, I think this is the best Ant-Man figure uh, that you can get. I think it's better than the Endgame version. And... Um, the only thing, what I like more about the Endgame version is I like the body, the suit color more. I think it really pops more and this one is a little bit more like undertone kind of. But what makes up for this one is obviously you don't have that awful head sculpt of Paul Rudd. This is the best head sculpt of Paul Rudd for sure. You don't have that crazy smile that just doesn't really work. Um, and also the helmet on this one I think just looks really good. Overall, I think this is the best Ant-Man to have. Um, and I think a solid spot for uh, you know Marvel Hot Toys announced in 2016 for number five. All right, taking the number four spot, I've got Scarlet Witch again from uh, Captain America Civil War. So what I really like about this figure, I think like the, the portrait to Elizabeth Olsen just looks fantastic. Overall, I, I think it looks really good. Like surprisingly, Hot Toys, again, usually doesn't really nail like the more attractive actors and actresses. Great for the head sculpt, but I think they did a really good job with this portrait. Um, the problem with me for this figure is, again, it's rooted hair. I'm just not a fan of rooted hair. With that being said, this is probably the best rooted hair I've seen on a Marvel Hot Toy. Um, a lot better than some of the Black Widow... Uh, rooted hairs but you know aside from that like this figure looks great it's everything that you'd really want in a scarlet witch obviously this figure is very expensive in the secondary market um it, they, it did get restocked though in the last restock aside so did, which is awesome for anybody that was able to pick that up but um you know it's basically like if you want one scarlet witch this is a scarlet witch to have in the collection hopefully they reissue this figure soon so you know it's going to be a lot more attainable for people but um overall like it's great it's solid at number four but um I would say the top three figures for announced in 2016 for Marvel are a lot better than the bottom two, but I think it's a solid spot at number four and definitely a, you know, a good representation to have in your collection for Scarlet Witch. All right, and claiming the number three spot, I got Captain America Battle Damaged. Um, so again, from Captain America Civil War, this is a great Captain America. I would say that this is probably the best Captain America out right now. Um, there's still things wrong with this one. Like the stealth suit Captain America, in my opinion, is the best... Um, body shape for Captain America. You know, it's it's much more slimmer. This, the problem with this one for me is that the, the shoulders are just too broad. But in terms of Captain Americas that we currently have, this would be my favorite um, until we get Endgame. Endgame Captain America, I think, is going to be the best Captain America uh, to have in your collection. If you only want one, that's the one to pick up. Um, they should have done the body, the body suit for um, stealth suit, though, the body frame. Uh, because again on the end game one the the shoulders just look too broad but i guess we'll have to see like the you know, once we officially have it in hand we'll be able to make a final determination but this is a great captain america like the display base is awesome um you, you know the accessories are are, are are pretty good obviously you get like the shield um and the hand sculpts but overall it's a good captain america and and the the head sculpt is pretty good they just still like haven't gotten chris evans like totally right even on the end game one i don't think it's perfect um but overall this is a good one and you know solid at number three from marvel hot toys announced in 2016. All right, now getting into the top two figures for Hot Toys announced in 2016. This is some real heat now. Uh, in the number two spot, not the number one, I've got the Iron Man Mark VI. Um, this is obviously a fantastic Iron Man. Um, and if you don't know what he goes for in the secondary market, pff, he's not cheap. But like, you know, die cast, you have like the different, you just like the different look to him. Obviously you have the, the, the triangle core. Um, you know, you get the battle damage look like this is for a lot of people. This is their favorite version of Iron Man um, For me personally, it's not but like this is a, obviously a, You know just a fantastic representation of Iron Man and the display base that he comes with you know when he lands in the Avengers movie and has to, like disarm his uh, His 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 suit when he's talking to Loki is probably my favorite scene in the entire Avengers movie uh, one of my favorite scenes in all of the MCU um, so it's definitely very iconic and just overall a great piece and like this figure in the secondary market man You got to pay up if you want this figure. Here's a listing that just sold four days ago $800 um, this figure can sell anywhere from like 750 to a thousand um, So hopefully we get a re-release of this one at some point, but this is a, a fantastic Iron Man for sure and very solid at number two close to number one But for me, it wasn't number one and the number one Marvel hot to announce in 2016. I got the plastic Iron Man disco 
Congratulations, you played yourself. Psych, just kidding, come on. If anybody's a fan of my channel, you know it ain't him. The number one spot, you gotta give it to Battle Damage Mark 46 from Iron Man from Civil War. This figure is my favorite Iron Man. Uh, it's my favorite Iron Man silhouette. I think it looks the best. Why is this Why is this Iron Man? Why do I always talk about this Iron Man and I say this is my favorite Iron Man? Iron Man suits, basically, in my mind, go along a timeline. Like, you know, Mark 1 is, like, the most manual suit. Like, everything is, like, very manual. And then, like, going all the way down to the Mark 85, it's, like, the most, like, automated nanotech suit. And I think that Civil War 1 strikes the balance perfectly of having a figure that looks, like, you know, kind of, like, automated and not, like... Manu any manual moving parts um but not like too manual but not like too automated and that's like why i think this this suit looks so great um it's just in my mind just the perfect representation of iron man it's not too bulky not too slim um the head sculpt that comes with this figure is unbelievable uh where is this head sculpt let's see like this portrait looks great i love the black eye that comes with the display base is sick um the the captain america face mask that you can hold is great you can interchange them to make it look battle damage not battle damage this is just the best iron man for me um you know mark 7 is another one that i'm a very big fan of but mark 7 is a little bit too heavy duty um whereas this one just strikes a perfect balance of looking you know clean and armored up and you know this figure has ranged a lot it's ranged anywhere from 600 to 850 in the secondary market right now hanging out closer to the 700 mark um so hopefully we get a reissue for it. Who knows if we're ever going to, though. It has popped up on two separate restocks now on Sideshow. So, you know, hang tight. You never know. You might be able to pick it up. But at $350 for this figure diecast, this was an absolute steal of a deal at retail. Um, and one that went pretty quick once it came out for retail. But overall, this is my number one favorite figure announced for Marvel in 2016. All right, and that's going to wrap it up for this top five Marvel figures announced in 2016. Let me know in the comment section down below, what were your favorite uh, Marvel figures announced in 2016? Do you guys agree with my list? Do you guys think Mark 7 should be number one? Do you think Disco Iron Man Plastic should be number one? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. This is Six Scale Economist, and we'll see you in the next video.